Something that I uh, do in my everyday life to conserve energy and conserve water, I turn off the water when I brush my teeth. Taking shorter showers. Collect your rainwater. Get a rain barrel, put it under the downspout coming off the rain gutters. There's a little filter on the top of any of the good rain barrels that filter out the detritus. And you open the spigot, take some of that water, and go water your plants. Use drip irrigation or watering carefully with a watering can in the most water-saving way imaginable. And plant native plants that are drought tolerant. I always have him coming up, hey, you're wasting too much water, you're running the hot water system, and I try to cut down as much as I can. These are my green tips, but I want to hear yours. If you have some way to save energy, save natural gas, electricity, water, save the environment, please write us at onbegleystreet.com. Hey Scott, what's up? Hey William. Uh, we're waiting for final word on the bag. We'll just do that inspection. Oh, I actually just heard final word. It's a go. You're kidding. That's great. That's good news. Let's do it. We sort of looked at it with an eye toward remodeling and try to save whatever we could save that was salvageable. And fairly quickly we discovered that, especially because it was sat on a poor foundation, you know, things like dry rot and the history of things that had happened to it just made it not a candidate for that. It was um, prudent to sort of remove it and start over. Scott's coming by to tell us how the inspection went. Great. So Scott, give me a status report on the property. How are we doing? We're doing okay. So we've got some good news and bad news. The mm -hmm. uh, bad news is we looked under the hood of the house to see what was there. Mm -hmm. It looked a little bit better on the outside than it did on the inside. Mm -hmm. We looked at some of the history of the house. We know there's some pretty high levels of lead in there. And it's kind of an energy nightmare. So yes. what we're going to have to do for you is we're going to dismantle this house. If we want the house that we want, we have to take the whole thing down and start anew, which is not music to my ears. So we're gonna have to build a new house for you. It's gonna be gorgeous. I am totally freaked out by this. We're gonna try to do it for <laughs> maybe the same price. And, and actually it can cost less sometimes to rebuild a house the right way. Right. Um, than it does to try to take a victim that's on life support right now, clean it up and fix it and put it back together. It, I, I can't even, uh, ah. You're saying there's just really no way of remodeling this house? Yes, it's, it's on life support. This is much more than I ever bargained for. If he loses interest, then I've got a house I've got to sell. I'm really open to the possibility of taking a loss and just, you know, selling it as is. I'd rather know now that the ship I'm about to board is not seaworthy. I don't want to find out in the choppy, icy waters I want to know now before we're trying to do something that isn't going to work. So how was your day, honey? It was good. I've got some bad news. Um, we're not going to be able to do a remodel in the new house. Uh, we have to take it down to a bare lot. I think it's going to actually be better. Why? Well, because we're doing a specific kind of house. I mean, it's going to be better if we just tear it down and like start anew with all of your specific needs for the house. You know, start from the ground up. I think it would be better. You might be right. What am I not right? That's a damn good idea. Thank you. Though I originally, you know, was the proponent of a remodel, now understanding what I can get from a, a brand new structure, I'm on board. I'm on board big time. Honey, let's make lemonade out of these lemons. You know, the fact is we have to take the existing structure down there in Studio City, but I think we can accomplish a lot of the green things I wanted to do from the beginning, even more than with a remodel. Uh, there's a silver lining to this is what I'm saying. Well, what, what do you mean the green things you want? What, what, do you think, what are you thinking? You know, I want to really get a big tank in there. If you take the existing home down, you can get a crane in a, a really- big tank? A big rainwater tank. 
Why? Why do we need a big rainwater tank? For irrigation, honey. You collect your rainwater. But, Ed, I use you're that just water talking constantly. A, about a lot of money. That is a lot of money. It's kind of funny, though. I'm on board now for uh, this new construction project. Rochelle is going, wait a minute. I, I just want to have a remodel. We can't do this. We can't do a whole new house. Well, maybe. I'm thinking of the long term for you and Hayden, long, long after term. I'm Can gone. Can we just think the next five years? Can we just stay? Once one of us is gone and the other one's in an orange Are jumpsuit, then you're going to need to have low bills. Someone no, will, I whoever, mean, really, the guardian of Hayden. That sounds like a lot of money. Just a house would be fine. I'm going to show her that we can have a, a good new green home with a high lead rating at a good price. So, William, we called the Begleys and we told them we're going to have to deconstruct their house based okay. on the findings. Ed is very excited about it, but Rochelle, she said, you know, it depends on what the design looks like. It seems like no problem. We'll get her there for sure. I think you can. It's I think you be can. Nice. We'll do it, right? Yeah. All right. Whatever we do, I want it to be the most, you know, cutting edge technology, uh, which will save us get to where I want to get to, which is low, low utility bills, energy savings. I see this as a particularly challenging project for us because the goal is to do a project that's both um, looks to the future as sustainable and aesthetically kind of pure in a way. We're going to go with a more of a traditional style that's more of my favorite, but it lends itself to green. We have a challenging client set. We've got Ed in a, that knows enough to sort of be dangerous, and we've got Rochelle that's very opinionated about the design aspects of it. There aren't too many modern houses in the neighborhood, and I just want to stay within the aesthetics of the neighborhood and what I like, which is a little more traditional. Tell me what your concerns are. Well, I'm concerned that he, you know, doesn't do the house that I want. So you're concerned about the way it looks? Yeah. I'm concerned about the way that it behaves. That well, is to it say, has, what it's not the energy use. Does he really get this green thing? Well, we'll see, won't we? I mean, I think he does. Do you have any sense that this guy knows enough about green? I know he understands big highfalutin homes. Does he understand the energy requirements of doing that and what the parameters I need to live in? Does anyone really understand it? Well, clearly, certain uh, people I'm very close to don't, so I just wondered if he does. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? I hope he does, because it'd be a real drag. I will agree with you on one important point. There is an aggravating amount of noise around this house that hopefully we will find some remedy for. That's right. I don't know if moving a mile away to the east is going to help, but I'll try anything. One, one can only try. Kill. Come on, I trained you with the 8x10 of it. Ah, he mines so well. Sicker, go ahead. Let me show you what we've come up with for you. Honey, look at this. <gasps> this is our home. Can we look at it? Can we touch it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> this shows you kind of the components of the houses. We've come up with them for you. The solar panels the solar up here. Solar panels. You're my new best wow. friend. Thank and it looks you. like they won't even be seen. The idea is that you won't see the solar panels from anywhere on the site or off the site. We've figured out ways to hide a lot of the gadgets so that We'll get the performance out of the house, but just not have them be so visible. Fantastic. Oh, how cute. You've thought of it all. This opportunity to do something that would be more like really a classic, beautiful house and to have it be green seemed like a great challenge. Thank what? you, Rochelle, for suggesting we move into our dream house. Let, uh, you know what? Let me thank you. This is an early celebration. Let me thank you when it's all worked out and done, okay? How about okay. that? It was very impressive. Rochelle got everything she wanted out of it, and so did I. I, I didn't know that we could do it all, but we have. We get to actually build this new house that's going to be so much easier to incorporate all the green features that my dad really wants and is really important to us. So you can have both. You can have aesthetics, you can have something that's very pleasing to the eye, and it can be energy efficient too. Now we're going to transform this very nice home on a beautiful lot into a lead platinum green home. We're going to start from the ground up. It's going to be even greener than the house we live in right now, if that's even possible. Next time on Bagley Street, their house can kill. Your house is killing you. It is. Your house is slowly killing yeah. you. And people don't know it. See you next time on Bagley Street. On Bagley Street is a proud supporter of Greenwish.